Hello and welcome to the Royal Road School of Carmelite Prayer. A link to the Praying with Teresa of Avila website has been provided below to enable you to find the catalog of offerings on this channel and the notes of today's presentation. Spiritual Testimonies 44 through 48 by St. Teresa of Avila. Testimony 44, Union with Christ in the Eucharist, probably Seville, 1575. One day, after having received communion, I truly thought my soul was made one with the most sacred body of the Lord. He appeared to me. His presence caused me to make much progress. Testimony 45 The Reform of the Monastery of Paterna, Seville, late 1575 I was thinking about whether I would be sent to reform a certain monastery. This troubled me. I heard, What do you fear, daughter? What can you lose but the lives you have so often offered me? I shall help you. My soul was much satisfied. Testimony 46, An Effect of Spiritual Marriage, Seville, late 1575. I have never given up anything for God, nor have I served him in accordance with my obligation. Considering the many favors he has bestowed on my soul, I began to grow anxious. The Lord said, You already know of the espousal between you and me. Because of this espousal, whatever I have is yours. So I give you all the trials and sufferings I underwent. And by these means, as with something belonging to you, you can make requests of my Father. I heard it in such a different way that it seemed I felt great dominion. It seemed to me the Father accepted this sharing. I now look very differently on what the Lord suffered as something belonging to me. This gives me great comfort. Testimony 47 The Value of Good Works Probably Seville, 1575 Once while wanting to render our Lord's service, I thought about how little I was able to do for him. And I said to myself, why, Lord, do you desire my works? He answered, In order to see your will, daughter. Testimony 48 The Lord tells Teresa to record his words. Seville, perhaps 1575. The Lord once granted me light on a matter but soon afterward I forgot what it was that he had told me. While trying to recall it, I heard, You already know I sometimes speak to you. Don't neglect to write down what I say, for even though it may not benefit you, it can benefit others. I then wondered if I was to be of help to others, but be lost myself on account of my sins. And he said to me, have no fear. Amen. <laughs>